and welcome back to Clyburn Kids. I'm Buddy Bray. I'm the artistic consultant for the Clyburn here in Fort Worth, and we're coming to you from the Steinway Piano Gallery right here in downtown Fort Worth. There are a lot of lovely pianos here, like this one uh, that they're letting us use. Really beautiful instrument. Now, today we're going to talk about how many hands it takes to play the piano. Might be a strange thing to talk about because in all the segments I've done, I've used both hands to play the piano. I only have two, so how could you use more? But you might be able to use fewer. We'll talk about that in just a minute. I want to play you something first. kind of sad music by Alexander Skriabin, who was a Russian composer who lived in the 19th century. He wrote just tons of piano music. And he wrote this prelude very, very early in his life. Very pretty music, as you heard. And it sounded great when I used both my hands, like, like normal piano playing. But Skriabin wrote this to be played with only one Hand. That's the trick in playing the music, is to play it with only one hand. Now, we have to figure out which hand I want to use. Scriabin knew which hand he wanted all of us to use, but I'm not going to tell you just yet. The logical thing, probably, is for me to start with the hand that I write with, right? My right hand. I write with that hand, and it's just probably easier if I play the piano just with that hand. Let me try. Same music. So far, that felt pretty good. It had to, I had to kind of reach over like this. That was a little uncomfortable at one point. Let me try it with just my left hand. The left hand is the hand that I don't write with. And doing this is sort of like picking up a pencil and trying to write your name with a hand that you don't write with. So that's what this feels like. I'm going to use my left hand. Just personally, uh, that's both easier and more difficult than using the right hand. First of all, the left hand, I had some notes down here that were easier to get with my left hand. I didn't have to reach very far to do it. It was more difficult because I don't write with this hand, so it doesn't get quite as much practice. All right, uh, there's one more place, before we make a decision, there's one more place in the music that I haven't gotten to yet, but I do want to show it to you because it might help us make up our minds, okay? Right in the middle, there's a part that goes like this. away to nothing. It's almost like it's stopped, but it's only melted in the middle. Remember that when I play the whole thing. Okay, that was pretty easy when I did it with both hands. <laughs>
that felt okay. My fingers feel strong, of course, in this hand because I write with it. I hold pencils and pens with it all the time and my phone and everything, my keys. Let me try it with my left hand. See how that feels. <laughs> Again, I'm not 100% loving playing with the left hand, but it was easier to get this one down here. This, with my right hand, was really hard to get down here. Much easier with my left. Okay, we're gonna roll the performance of me playing this now and try to make up your mind before we roll it, which hand I used, which hand Scriabin wanted us to use. Have a look. So, I hope you enjoyed watching that. I did exactly what the composer specified in the music. He called this a prelude for the left hand alone. Now, the reason he did that was just so that most pianists would find it a little bit difficult because most pianists, like most people in the world, write with their right hand. He wanted to give pianists a workout with their left hand, with the, with the hand that they find weaker of the two. Okay, next week we're going to talk about what color pianos usually are. They're usually this color, black, but they don't always have to be. That's next time on Clyburn Kids. We're so glad you watched.